Hello, Sue. Hello, everyone. Trying to get set up over here so I can read comments, guys. So give me a quick second. All right. Not sure why this is so difficult. This new this new format that they have for YouTube now is so difficult. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi, Sandra. Hi, Joyce. Hi, everyone. Hope you guys had a good night last night. We have Young Sue in the panel. And for everyone else out there watching in YouTube land, welcome, welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. All right. I need to find my lotion, guys. Where is my I'm knocking everything down? I'm running out of desk space. Hi, Miss Penny. Yes, thumbs down. Oh, not down. Thumbs up. <laughs> Definitely not thumbs down. I mean, you do want to give me a thumbs down that's okay but that's not what i meant <laughs> share the video hi gun rita hi gun. what time is it over there where you are you know what young sue yes um, send me the picture uh of the one that you wanted me to make so i can uh, pick a print it out and show people okay the one that we're using for inspiration and the link, I guess, of who it is that created it, because I don't know who it was. Oh, I forgot. You forgot? Okay, well, this is something that Young Sue saw and uh, brought it to my attention. I want to show you guys something. I worked on something last night. Still in the working process. But this is my organizer that I'm making. Um, very heavy duty organizer. And it's a work in progress. As soon as I get it up and ready, I'll let you guys know. I'm really finicky about stuff. Measurements is very important, very precise. 2 a.m. Oh my gosh, you're like me. You're a night owl. Oh, I don't have it, May. I delete the picture. Wait a minute. So I don't know. I don't know who it is. Probably. Let me see if I can see my messages. Okay. Because you sent it to me. And I thought yeah, it's okay, one well. of the group. It's one of the group that I. Marilyn, Marilyn Crafter. Yeah. Let me see. I know you sent it to me. Here it is. I found it. Okay. It's um. Merka. Merk. Yeah, something like that. Mm-hmm. So we gotta give Merka, Merka lowing, lowing something. We gotta give her credit. Yes, yes, be yes, yes. Be inspired by her beautiful project. All right. Uh, let's resize that. Oh, I guess I could print it out just like that. Hopefully I'll print. Hi, Joe. How are you? We still need to catch up, Joe, so you can show me about um, how to do these, um, this stuff on, uh, what do you call the streaming? 
if you find me on Facebook, I, I don't know what group you're in, but send me a message after the show and I'll, I'll see if I can find you on Facebook. Okay, so this is our inspirational piece, guys. Joe Passion, hold on, let me write that down. I should remember Passion, Joe Passion at yahoo.com. Okay, I will email you Joe Passion. I should write it, let me write it, because you know, I got cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs sometimes, and Yahoo, okay. All right, so this is who Young Sue thought she saw this in um, Stamper's, Stamper's World. World. Yes. Oh, let's turn on some lights, guys, because uh, here goes the vision. All right, let me see. Glasses on. Stamper's Worldwide. Very pretty. And it's a Christmassy themed cutting board. I don't have all the stuff that she has because she's got some beautiful stuff there. Um, without zooming in, I really um, yeah. It looks like she's got a lot of um, flowers, elements going on there. So we're going to try to Yes, passion. I wrote it down. Joe passion one s at yahoo.com. Gotcha. I'll send you a message after the show. Thank you, hon. All right. So she's got lots of good stuff going on here. I can see some gesso base off the, the, the top. There's some crackling, um, there's some modeling paste. There's some burlap, some twine. And um, we're going to use coffee because it looks like she's used some type of a dye or color. And flowers and pine cones. I'm not sure if I got little tiny pine cones. I might have to run downstairs in my little Christmas sash. Yes, Joy, you are, you're right. She uh, it that easy. So, all right. I'm going to twist it because I can't duplicate the whole thing you know because that's just not no. her but i give credit to marta lowenhangen i probably butchered her name i found some of this um frilly yarn at hobby lobby and it was white and what i did i just kind of coffee dyed it to make it look more distressed and more you know the color that we like but it was as white. And look, I did find my cheesecloth. So we're gonna use some cheesecloth. We're gonna use, um, yes. We're gonna use um, corrugated paper that I picked up and I love working with that. I found one of these that I had worked on um, in a home decor here at my house. And I got rid of the piece, but I kept all this sorry ribbon because we can probably use some of that. And I had a hard time finding a cutting board that was used at a reasonable rate because um, the used ones were running like $10. Wow. Yeah. At the Goodwill. And I'm like, uh, I'm not paying for that, you know? And so I found this one. It was $10. I found a smaller one at Tuesday morning for $5.99, but it was like really small. And then um, I went to Big Lots, $12.99 for a new one. Um, I went to Dollar Tree, like you told me, they had the plastic ones. I can't do plastic, no way. And I went to Hobby Lobby and they had this one at 50% off. So I ended up paying $5. Um, I checked the unpainted wood section and they had 40% off. They had one, but it was a lot thinner than this for $7.99 minus uh, the 40%. So I kind of figured this was a better deal. deal. Um, for $5. So I went this direction and I went through my 
stash of digital image. Now we had made a canvas or a wall hanging a couple years ago using, I think one of these Santas, I think it was this one. I think you have it, Young Sue, don't yes, you? Yes, that's a Christmas, yes, that's yes. the one. Yeah, 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 you have that. Um, we're gonna probably go with this. I went to Hobby Lobby and I picked up some stuff. Not a whole lot because they don't have their Christmas stuff on sale. No one has Christmas stuff on sale right now. No. And I didn't want to spend a lot of money. So I found these at uh, $3.99. I think it'll look great with this one here. And then it has little red hollies and a little bit of gold. So we're going to pick up some of that stuff, hopefully, on that. Um and aside from that whatever else i find here in my stash of good stuff i did have to go buy out buy some modeling paste and some gesso i had laying here um, from my daughter's stuff and i have i love i don't know if you guys used to watch any of my old videos but i love using chalk paint so let me see with my chalk paint I, had it out here. Oh, they did. It's the story of my life. I think I have it out. So this is the one I always use, and I bet you you guys can figure this out. Which one's my favorite color? Um, because it doesn't change. But this is my favorite color from Folk Art, and it's a very good brand for chalk paint. And I also use <laughs> the wax. Just wanted to go shopping. <laughs> Sheepskin, you're right. You got it, Miss Penny. <laughs> yes, eyelash trim. That's exactly what it is, Joe. I couldn't think of the name. Um, I just picked it up. It was $6.99. I used my 40% coupon on it. So I, then I coffee dyed it, and I have a whole, the whole, whole thing, the skein or whatever you call it. It's in coffee because I want it to go a little bit darker. So I'm just going to let it soak there for a little bit longer, but I wanted to use some for this project. So I brought it up anyway. So those are the things that I'm probably going to be using. And I have, as far as twine, I see she has twine. I have this one and I do have a thicker one downstairs. So in between um, intermission, I might run down to the garage. Um, I know I should have gotten it before I came up, but I was literally running around trying to find this and something that was Christmassy because I wanted I wanted some poinsettia and I had the Tim Holtz poinsettia die at one time but when I got rid of everything that was part of everything that left I um couldn't find any Christmas flowers that I could use for this I was fixing to mail those two to you ah <laughs> see you don't have to Brianna, um, I didn't get rid of this because you guys know I do a lot of furniture stuff and altering. So I didn't get rid of my paints like that. Um, but this, I was looking for poinsettias. So I found these. I was hoping I can find something in silhouette, but they don't have anything. So we'll have to play around with this, right? Yes, you could do it, man. I can do it. You, you could it. do it. I can do it. All right. Oh, yes. All right, so this has, it's kind of, I don't you know. have a magic can. You could do it. It's a little bit bold and, you know, not flat, but it'll do, you know, see? It'll do. We can do this, guys. Oh, yes. All Let's right. do it. Let's get our drinks. Let's get our drinks on. I figured I also have these little white ones here. So we're going to probably throw some of that in there, too. So let's throw that in my little bin. I picked up this little bin at Hobby Lobby for $0.79. Cents. Oh, that's cute. It is cute. It says oregano on it. But hey, <laughs> you guys, unless I said something, you would have not known, right? Right. Oh, and I picked this up. And I haven't even taken the tag off or the wrapping off at um, oh, cute. Tuesday morning for $3.99. Um, and so I thought, hey, that's perfect. I have my regular paper scissors and my fabric scissors. Why do I have the Tim Holtz fussy cut scissors in there? Because that's the only thing it's good for for me. It's not good that's for anything. Trends. Yeah, it's not good for anything else. At least not for me, guys. <laughs> All right. 
So Drake's on and and even though these little tiny ones um, were for fabric, they're now actually worthless because the kids have used it for paper. I went and checked the ornaments at Hobby Lobby. They did have one head ornament there. Um, it's prettier. <laughs> one head. Yeah, they have they have some of those little head uh, Santa faces ornaments. Back when we did this in 2016, they had several var variations. Now they only have one, but he was a pretty face. He, he did have a pretty face, but I'm sorry. I wasn't paying $12.99 for it. You know, me neither. And they're, they don't have any of the Christmas stuff on sale. So that's what made this project a little bit hard. It's like, oh, they don't got anything on sale. <laughs> okay. You mean, you didn't know that you were making Christmas stuff today? I didn't know I was going to be making any Christmas projects. This was You mean the Hobby Lobby did not know you were making Christmas stuff that you put on sale for me? I know. Hobby Lobby didn't know. They don't even give me a discount. Shouldn't even be promoting them, right? Dawn. The only discount they give me is a 40% discount. My 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 paintbrushes are so rusty. And the kids have been using them, so. Well, Hobby Lobby knows you're always coming there. Hobby Lobby wasn't prepared to see me there today. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I miss was Carol. to see you. <laughs> Trouble is here. Yes, you are, Miss Carol. Look, this is a new bottle. I bought this before I decided to retire. <laughs> Holy smoke. Trouble's in the house. Miss Carol's in the house. Guys, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe, share the video, and let others know about it. I'm doing a giveaway. Somebody's gonna get a $100 gift certificate to a store of their choice. Has to be a craft, cho craft store though. That's how old this paint is. It's over. It's a year old, I think. It hasn't been used. All right, Miss May. I know, right, Gun? No sale for me. I know, but you know what? That's all right. <laughs> well, Miss May. Yes. Could we should we put Penny and Carol in the same room? Ah, should we put them in the same room, right? Yeah. <laughs> Two naughty ones. Oh, I don't know. Do you think they'll be okay? I think they should be all right. Trouble and trouble <laughs> equals danger, right? Yeah. <laughs> Well, Gun is there. She could watch them over. Yeah. After all I've done for their store, I know, right? You know what? When <laughs> I was looking at um, Hobby Lobby, um, we were setting up some of the Christmas stuff, and uh, I told the manager, she found out that I did craft, and she says, oh, I heard you do craft. I said, yeah, I used to. And... Um, she says, oh, I'd like to see some of your stuff. And I said, oh, I'll, I'll find something that I've done with your Hobby Lobby stuff. <laughs> so I found the Christmas Santas that I had done in 2016. And my shoulder. And uh, she thought that was pretty cool. And that then you always mentioned their store name. <laughs> Yeah, that was the store manager, and she's like, that's pretty cool. They took that ornament and did that. And I'm like, yeah. They said, yeah, I made a lot. I made, I'm sure Hobby Lobby made a lot of money that year. <laughs> I did the houses. I did the sleighs. I did the... Uh, Everything. Um, I did the Santas. Oh, my God. Hobby Lobby. Angels. Yeah, Hobby Lobby made a huge killing that year. You did the... 
Let a dress form for the little girl. The <laughs> album book. Hey, man. Everything. Like she did the banner. You like to boogie, Miss Miss Carol, Miss Penny, or boogie? They're down in boogie uh -oh. town. <laughs> and guys, I'm not really concerned about perfection. I want it to look more rustic and more distressed than anything else. So, funky, funky. So we're not, and I'm probably going to also run downstairs. Um, so young Sue's going to have to chat with you guys because I'm going to get the Elmer's glue and we're going to crackle it probably. Okay, Miss Penny, would you sing for us? I don't sing like me. He wants to sing? Anybody wants to sing? What was that? Um, funky Town? Do, yes. do, 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 do. Funky Town. See, make it sings good. I just don't know the lyrics. Oh, well, she can make up the names. <laughs> I am horrible with lyrics. I butcher li lyrics. Can never memorize lyrics. Well, I can't memorize. Can't memorize much of anything. It's kind of funny, you know. I can probably look at something and figure out how it was built. I don't know if it's just something in my brain. It's tailored that way. But I cannot look at, I can't read a book and memorize what the heck I just finished reading. Just not, my brain is not equipped that way. Guess I wasn't meant to be a rocket scientist or anything like that. A Only genius. you are rocket science. I'm not a genius, so that was not in the works for me, right? All right, so I need it. I'm gonna give it a couple coats because I'm gonna put some um, boogie. Don't forget your sandpaper. I don't have sandpaper. Uh, I have to. You know what? I might have some. Wait. You can use some nail file. Yeah, I think I do have some because you have blocks. that sandpaper that from Team Holtz. Yeah, I should have some sandy block sounds. No, I don't okay. have that. I got. Remember, I got rid of all that stuff. Oh, you got rid of that too. Oh, gee. I got rid of everything, guys. Okay, I'm gonna have to stay in your mind then. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you. I don't. owe you one. No, you don't. Uh -huh. I have it. I energy board will work. Oh, a nail file. I have a nail file. Yes, she has a nail file. She could do that. She says energy. Oh, Emery. Emery. Emery board. It's like energy board? What's an energy board? I read it wrong. So when I saw this um, cutting board at Hobby Lobby, I said to the lady, um, the manager, Susan, who knows me, <laughs> are these 50% off? Because technically speaking, it is a wad decor. And um, she said, yeah, I guess you are right. It is a lot of course. So that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> because I want my 50% off of this. I'm not paying 10 bucks for this cutting board if it hangs on a wall. And you have a little sign that says 50% off wall hangings. So I want my 50% off. Oh, there I go, knocking things down. I cleaned up my room. And then there I go, knocking stuff down. Uh, the little thin nail files that are like the sandpapers, that's an emery board. Yes, yes, I have one of those. I got it from, um, what did you call that store? Dollar Tree. I use it to sand down the edges on my paper. Just my Your bed. dog says sandpaper. He says uh, sandpaper, woof, woof. <laughs> I say that too. Yours says rub my belly. <laughs> I don't know about this two ladies. Ladies are who? They were having a ball tonight. Uh oh. They must have had their whiskey. Tomorrow I got to submit two homework assignments, guys. Gotta crack the books tomorrow. No horse paint playing tomorrow for me. <laughs> 
Tomorrow's the rest day for them. <laughs> No one's laughing. <laughs> I don't know if it's the humidity, but it's like taking forever to dry up. I don't know what the problem seems to be. It might be the humidity level. But I'm going to give it a couple little coats. Here and there. Oh, it's a blue and gold Macau. Macau, it's a bird. Macau? How do you say that? I can't say that. Macau. Macau, right? It's a bird. Bird, yes. Bird, yeah, it's a bird. It's a bird, it's a plane. It's a flying machine. It's a flying. It's called flying machine. <laughs> and I'm gonna put globs of it as you see here. I'm putting globs here and there. Um, because I want it to dry up like that. Anything about chalk paint. I'm going different directions here just to get that textured look on there. All right. All right, what, what I'm going to do while this is kind of doing its thing before I do the back side, I'm going to run downstairs and put a little bit more gob here. Grab my big, my daughter's Elmer's glue that she uses for her slimy stuff. And you notice I'm putting big globs. I want it to dry like that, guys, because I wanted to give um, a more distressed look. Uh, we're going to use the back of this, and you can probably do that with gesso as well. Give it like a wood grain look to it. All right. While that's doing, ladies, I will go in here and uh, get my stuff downstairs. Young Sue's going to have a chat with you guys. I am. The little circle icon is a picture of, oh, I'll have to zoom that in. The bird talks. He talks? What does he say? He has a 30 inch long from the top of his head to the end of his tail. Oh my gosh. I know. <laughs> wow. Oh. And he's talking bird, like a big bird. He usually talks to everyone while I'm doing videos. Oh, we're going to have to watch. When are you going next? I'm blind and can't see. <laughs> You're blind and you can't see, Miss Penny. You want my glasses, Miss Penny? Here, I'll let you have my glasses. <laughs> I'll share with you because sharing is caring. So share because you care. That's right. Um, speaking of which, subscribe to my channel, please. Yes, please, the, the please. The little bell. To notify help me. help me out. Yes. Uh, Joe, I'm going to run downstairs, but I want you to write down what does your bird say. I want to know. Curious mind wants to know. Be back, guys. Okay.
Coming. Found that in a lot of things. <laughs> All right, that's my my little. Ow. Um, Joe wants to join the group or chat me. I'm sorry, what? Joe wants to join the group. I mean the chat on oh. the panel. She wants to come to the panel. Uh, send her the link. Let's see. Uh, how do we send her the link? Um, uh, send the link. Like you did with me? Yeah. You, Joe, do you have a Google search? Um, hold on a second. Let me see if I can copy this. I'm trying to think how I can copy it. Let me email. I'm going to copy it and send it to you on your email. This is that, um, see, I forgot already. My gosh. That, that yarn can't think of it right now. I have a lot of things on my oh, head. Oh, um, May? Yes? Not not on a panel. She just wants to join the group, so. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, sorry, you... sorry, Joe. You have to put that link in the, put the link in the, there, so she can join it. Okay, I'll go and join, have you join the group. Okay, so, oh. 
Um, this is that yarn. What's it called? Oh my God. We just talked about it and I just can't forget. I forgot. Anyway, I'm letting it soak there in coffee. The eyelash trend. There we go. Eyelash yarn. That's what it's called. Can't think. Can't think right now. So I got it soaking in coffee. And I'm going to let it sit there for a little bit because it's it needs to marinate. It needs to marinate. And we're probably going to do that with my cheesecloth as well. You can talk to yourself and answer yourself, but if you say, huh? Then you're in trouble. That's true. Okay, so what did I miss? What did the bird say? What does the bird say? I want to know. I want to know. I'm going to put some of this cheesecloth in here so that I can let it simmer. For this project. Um, well then, Miss Kara, I'm probably in trouble. <laughs> does that mean oh, you? Does yeah, that mean, in trouble. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, does that mean you do that, Joe? I think Joe does that. <laughs> find space around here to do stuff. Let's see. Uh, I didn't grab the glue. Oh, see? Hands were full, didn't grab the glue. I do have a hearing problem. Ladies. Hold on a second. What you say? I do have a hearing problem. I'm sorry, me. Oh. You do that all the time, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I have, I say huh when I don't want to respond, huh? <laughs> That's a good one, man. <laughs> or because, you know, I have ADD and I tend to space things out. And then I catch myself that I lost track of what the person was saying. And I got to go, huh? What did you just say? Because <laughs> I was in the business. In the in the mode of uh, daydreaming. All right, going back down. This time I have to get Elmer's glue. Okay. we got everything we needed this is the big old gallon of glue we got my daughter for her slime I wish that was good for anything other than the slime got our big old twine we're gonna need that okay. 
and we got our little sanding block. light here from the sun is blinding me to a point where I'm looking at the other computer screen and I'm having a hard time seeing what you guys are saying. I need to shut down the blind a little bit so it's not coming through. all kinds of noise in here guys apologize for the noise let's see if that's not gonna blind me now okay now I can see inhaler breathing treatment antibiotics oh boy be careful Joe and make sure you get completely well where is everybody from I'm a little suburb just outside Augusta Georgia called lit I'm in Texas So let's get this one side somewhat stride, and we're going to do the opposite side. And um, I'm right above you in Northeast Tennessee. I found these in the garage, guys. Some of my work. Yeah. Look, I don't know if you guys remember doing these with me. Let's see. Oh, yes. This is the little stocking. The little tiny stocking. Here's my little Christmas tree. Oh, yes. Here's my little dove. You should take that to Hobby Lobby. My little dove. Maybe they will display it. There's my little mittens. There's another little mitten. And another. Oh, cute. I, I must have had a fascination with mittens. <laughs> <laughs> and a dove. Cute. I must have had a fascination with mittens. And then Michelle Pipeling has sent me these little ice skates and I altered them. So I'm from Waterloo, Illinois, close to St. Louis, Missouri. We're just sprinkled from all over, aren't we? Yes, we're off, we're from everywhere. I don't think there is one single person here. Here's a. I think this is my little bell. Oh. A tag. Oh, I could probably tear some of this stuff up and use it. <laughs> yes. You need to Recycle. put it on your tree. On your tree. Recycle, right? You gonna Recycle. take it apart? Recycle. Take it apart and use it? Reuse it. Right. Let's do the other side. Should be fine. Should we say hello to the people just listening? Yeah. Hello, people out there listening. Yes. And for those of you guys who are over on iPad and Kindle land, hello. Welcome to our channel. If you have a moment, please subscribe. Drop your name in the chat. Let us know that you're watching if you can. And... Um, don't forget to share the video. Click like if you like this video. Uh, 
I've been Don't. looking for a thrift store for little baby shoes to try doing what you did with the one. Oh yeah, try look. Yeah, I I totally say get the used baby shoes. Um, fifty cents. Don't pay any more than fifty cents. <laughs> uh, you really want to get the cheapest because you're gonna be gluing it down. You know, you want cheap shoes to recycle them. I gotta get Young Sue's out in the mail. I Aww. promise you, Young Sue. I want to get it out in the mail to you. Take your time. No, I gotta, get out. I gotta get out. Just, just throw up the window and they'll catch it in the air. You want me to throw it and you can see if you catch it over there? You're a good uh -huh. catcher. Yes. You're a good catcher because I'm not. I, yes. I'm horrible. I'm I cut. I cut all your machine. You throw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm horrible. First come, first serve. First come, so first say, serve. Oh. That's right. I say, oh. Yes, you may ask me whatever you want, Miss Penny. Go ahead, shoot for it. See if I know the answer. If I don't know the answer, I will, uh, I don't know. I'll go, huh? <laughs> if I don't know yes. the answer, I'm going to go, huh? Um, I was so happy when I found you back on YouTube. I used to watch you all the time, but I was a lurker. I was very shy back then. Aw, so glad that you came back and you found us and that you're yeah. not shy. We're good about breaking people off their shells or out of the shells. Young Sue used to be very shy. Believe me, I was very, very shy. I she want to say one pick. Yeah, she would never say anything. And look at her. She's on the panel now. I have a little tiny baby shoe, but it is it is a low top. And you built it up. Oh, you can definitely build. Hi, Tanya. Thank you for subscribing to my channel, Tanya. Um, yes, definitely. If the shoe is low top, you can build up. I used to have a, channel, a video where I did that. I don't know if it's still in the save. I have to look. Well, you just take a regular shoe and you can sculpt it with um, modeling paste and build up to make it bigger, higher. Absolutely, that's possible. Just need a little bit of chipboard. Shape it up, sculpt it up, and there you go. Was trouble miss miss carol was was shy i think everyone honestly i think we were all shy at one time and um, and slowly everyone's broken out of their shell young sue was very shy she never wanted to talk to anybody and now she's like little miss social butterfly aren't you miss penny i mean miss uh, yes young sue yes i am penny was shy too and look at her now she's a moderate i mean she's thought and that is the moderator. Aww. That's sweet. I'm getting there. I miss you so much, Mama. Aww. That's sweet. You guys must know each other. Okay. Once we get this, I'm going to take my daughter's Elmer's glue and we're going to try to crackle. She's your adopted mama. Aww. In New Zealand. 
That's right. You are in New Zealand, aren't you, Tanya? What time is it over in New Zealand? I know it's like two, past two, almost three in the morning in um, where Gun Gun is. Is she from uh, New Zealand? I'm in the book of New Zealand. Yes, guys, if they have a channel, make sure you guys subscribe to their channels. Well, it's 12.55 p.m. Sunday. I'm sorry, what you say, um, young Sue? 12.55 p.m. Sunday afternoon. 12.55? Ooh. Sunday afternoon. She's just starting her day. Yep. So she it's good timing for her. Yeah, she's starting her day, and we're like halfway, not even halfway, so it's four hours, it'll be midnight. I have no idea what I did with my inspirational picture. I printed it out, and now I don't know. Oh, here it is. Australia above South Pole. And they're opposite of weather too, I think. Because I know Australia is winter over there. It's winter in Australia? Mm-hmm. It's winter over there in Australia. Really? Yes. No. Right? Our summer our summer is their winter. Our winter is their summer. Oh, man. Where the bad shooting was. So I don't, I think uh, New Zealand's probably the same. I don't know. But uh, yes, Australia. Our Maybe summer is their winter. some of this in here. Don't try that at home, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try that at home? Yeah. Okay. Just don't pour it like that because I just didn't want to. I wonder if this glue is any good. This, has anyone tried this Elmer's glue? Because look how big this is. And Yes, my niece does. My grandniece. No, for like before. junk journals or book binding because I, I'm telling you guys, I can't express it how much I hate this. Can't oh, stand it. Can't my stand grandniece it. used that Elmer's glue for her slime. For her what? Slime. Thank yeah, you. that's what Brianna has this for. I just kind of thought, you know, I can borrow yeah. some of this if it's good for yeah. book you could try it. I've never tried it. Um, I like Tonic's Craft Tacky Glue. I'm, I don't know why. I just like it because it's, it's very good with chipboard and it dries pretty fast. Um, so I'm trying to find something um, until I get the, the Tonic's Craft tacky glue purchase this one today so i'm going to try it and see if it's any good oh, okay um yeah but if anyone's tried this on their junk journals and has let had her know. Of it please let me know i would She's like to know penny says it's great for paper it is what about journaling like binding. Oh, Tanya says it's 11 degree. See, it is so oh. winter. Oh, Tanya, I don't envy you. That's why she's inside the house. <laughs> oh, no. I don't think I can deal with that. No way. So, uh -uh. if you don't like winter, you just come to United States. So, if you don't like the winter here in United States, go to the other side. Other side of the world? Yeah. It's oh. because the, the earth is upside down, so that's why their their winter is our summer and our summer is their winter well i'm telling you right now i don't care i don't like cold i, I think i like texas because we don't really get cold here cold. yes that's why you like california too <laughs> and i like california because of that too because i don't like cold i have to see palm tree and i have to see pretty <laughs> i don't see pretty if i see dead trees oh my god it depresses me 
Well, if you would like California palm, palm spring, palm tree over there, palm tree everywhere. All right, I put a big glob of this stuff because I want to do big crackles. So hopefully we can get that effect. If we don't, you think it's gonna work? I never tried that, so I don't know. I've tried. Um, I've done the the the. Um, I've tried. I've done the the challenge on this. Actually, it was in 2013, and um, it worked. It it really did what it's supposed to do. Okay. Um. But like some crackles, you can't be paid. Uh, running it back and forth because it doesn't have that effect if you keep running your paintbrush through so hopefully we're not going to have that problem right all right i guess it'd be a good time also to put some um what do you call that cheesecloth on there so Hold tight, don't fall off. I told Hubby we just need to move back to Hawaii. Hawaii is gorgeous. I've never been there. I see all those um, videos on real estate where people are buying real estate in Hawaii. The cost of living there is it expensive. Massive. I mean, you gotta have a fortune to live there. Yeah, Hawaii is very expensive. What's that? Hawaii is, is very expensive. Yeah, it's just as bad as California. California yes. is horrible. You got to have three jobs to live in California. <laughs> oh, yes. I think Australia, but I need to go to New Zealand. <laughs> you need to go to New Zealand in the in the summertime. No, I'm going to to go to New Zealand and Australia is the best time is around November. November. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been there? Yes, to Australia. Yes, so oh. we've been there on November around Thanksgiving time. Perfect oh. time. That is cool. I like to go to Australia or any other. I, I might. It's on my bucket list to go to Greece. Oh but yes, I like to go to Greece too. I told uh, Aristi that I want to go to Greece. She's got a. Um, oh yes, Hawaii is never cold. Maybe. Yes, Hawaii is never cold. I want to go. If you go and Florida, Hawaii, never cold. go on a cruise. Go on a cruise. Is it cheaper if you go on a cruise? I don't yes, know. I've been is. hearing some weird stories about people getting sick on cruise ships. Oh, that depends on which cruise ship and. And sometimes it's that they get sick and they just come into the ship. That's why. If you're sick, don't travel. Yeah. Well, Joe's husband, my husband is from Kalahi, just outside of Honolulu. No, I like to fly when you go from Augusta to Atlanta and Atlanta straight to Honolulu. How long of a flying trip is that? For me to go to Hawaii is five hours. Oh, yeah, because you're on the Pacific Coast. Right. She's on the East Coast. She's in Atlanta. So that will be like seven hours, maybe? Oh, no, that's got to be more than that. That's got to be, gosh. I imagine if from for me to go to Miami, it's about four hours. Four hours? Okay, so yeah. we have to make she, another. She's got a good 10-hour Kenny. Oh yes, Kenny. I, I did see that. That was the daddy. The yeah, I heard was... about I heard about the baby falling off a ship. This is some crazy. No, this was stuff. grandpa grandpa dropped the baby in the ship over the window. Over the window? Uh huh. It was grandpa. Took the baby over the window. He thought it was closed window. And he took the window that it's open and drop the baby. They say it was an accident, so I don't know. That doesn't sound like an accident. That sounds intentional. He thought the window was open. 
clothes. So he took the baby by the window and somehow he just, I think the hand slipped. Oh my gosh, it's Joseph's 11 hours. That was close. 10, I said 10. Yeah, you said 10, yes. I'll sleep the whole time, yes. I don't know, I can do an 11 hour trip. I would be, I'd probably be scary. I'd be thinking, is this plane gonna fall? <laughs> oh. Yes, it was a grandpa. And now, the family of the baby is suing the, the cruise ship. No, they need to go after the grandpa. I'm sorry, that sounds intentional. That just sounds too fishy. I know. Because the window was open in the table. And How can you not tell that that window was open? Yeah. It was open, so grandpa thought it was closed, and he put the baby by the window to look out the thing. Hi, Lourdes. Hello, Angel. They tore him out there. Yeah, they're saying uh, why they have the window open in the TV playroom. So. Well, maybe they needed some fresh air. Who knows? Maybe somebody opened it. I don't know. Maybe one of the kids opened it, or maybe the parents opened it. I don't know. I was closed, but not locked. Oh, uh, see what's... Well, I want to blame the ship for that. It's just an accident it happened. Might be popping in and out. Lady, dad is back in that so I might have to run to and get to me. That's okay. It was an accident. It was on a playroom and those windows should be closed. They could not see that it was up. Oh. Yeah. See? It was an accident. How old was the baby? 18 months. He was what? 18 months. He was a girl, May. 18 Aww. months old. Aww. The reason the baby died because he wasn't, she what fell in the ocean. So there Aww. was the surviving for the baby. Oh, she, yeah, she wasn't going to survive. No, I want to survive either. Okay. Yeah, me either. So one of the things that you can do when you're doing these um, altering, um, yes, eleven cutting board is use a hammer and you can hammer it up to get some. Especially if it's a newer one, like like this one is a little distressed. But I've seen some looking at Tuesday morning that were really polished and smooth. But if you want to get some more character in there to make it look like it's weathered and old. What you can do is take a hammer to it and beat it up um, a little just to get that weathered look. Or you can also do what I just did, which is take several coats of the chalk paint, make some um, markings with your paintbrush uh, just to get it look like it's been painted over time and very weathered. The baby was from the 11th floor. They were on the 11th floor of the ship. And and I'm just gonna crackle the one side. I'm not gonna do the other side because in our reality, no one's gonna see that other side. Right. I guess I, guess I could, but no really point to do it.
And you see how it bubbles up a little? I kind of, it's a personal preference. I kind of like that because it gives it character. And when you're painting and using your stain, it kind of makes it pop out more. So that to me is not a bother. This stuff like that where it's clumped up, that's what I like. Because it makes it look like this is an actual old piece when it's not. She says Christmas one sign, Easter another sign. What's that? Penny says for you to do Christmas one side, the other is Easter. Ah, the other side. I don't celebrate Easter. Yeah, I don't even, I, I've, never, I've never found the decor for Easter to be attractive. Oh my God, 11 floors. Yeah. And, oh, that poor, oh my God, I don't even want yes. to imagine. I don't even want to imagine that poor child. Oh my God. But it says you were the master then, the grandpa didn't see the window open. They shouldn't have the window open at all. But accident happens. Now they're suing the ship. And I said, why are you suing the ship? Jeez. <laughs> This is what the world goes around me in this American world. Everybody's suing everything for everything. Yep, that's true. Okay. All right, I got gook all over my hands. I want to do, um, I use just a baby wipe. You know, I can't stand having my glasses on because they start going down below my face. Oh, then, yes. <laughs> then I can't see without them. And then, so I just got to take them off because they're bothering me. And it's starting to get dark in here. So let's turn the lights on. All right, so we're gonna use Home Decor Wax by Folk Art, and this is a, a stain. And get that little bubble out. It's a little hot still, so I'll let it cool down a bit. did my kitchen table finally guys and it came out really good yeah can we see um i think you guys saw it i did well, it yeah that's right you put it on the facebook yes i saw right it. yes i did like it i loved it look like you bought a new table yeah all right but Make my wax a little bit not so great. I'm trying to distress it with the antiquing. I got 
gotta take it off the desk so I can get up here, guys. You can see some of the crackle. Now I'm going to go back in with the, what do you call that thing? Chalk paint and dry brush it to pick up more of the crackling. And I should do the back, but I don't know. The back is not so noticeable. We'll, we'll go ahead and do it. Why not? Just try to go into more of the edges. I am going to sand down, but y'all know I don't like making a mess too much, especially if I'm on camera. <laughs> Karen McCure? What about Karen McCure? Oh, I thought she... I got confused with the uh, gun and Karen McCure. That's why. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I got confused. I was crazy. Like, a, like you. Right, I'm crazy too. This. I like to bake it in. She's going to bake. I need to bake it in. I want it to kind of go into the wood. Penny says she likes stuff. That's where you do the um, crazy, you get a really old paintbrush that's kind of stiff. You get nice streaks on there. But if you go heavy on your chalk paint or your medium that you're using, um, you can do that. You can also take an old uh, or a plastic fork and kind of go in and make it look like it's grainy. But you see that? So now we're going to go back in with the chalk paint, but we're just going to lightly. And notice my brushes, it's kind of stiff. You want something that's stiff. So um, it says, I know I'm going to be using that corrugated board. I don't mind that. And blend it in just a tad bit. Since I have this out, let's go ahead. Let's 
go ahead and do that here. Looking good, May. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's move some of these bottles on my way so we're not getting too confused with them. Okay, so then let me go ahead and dry this one up. I'm going to use this as a background on something in here. You're going to Denmark in a ship? Oh my gosh. I don't know. Those ships kind of scare me. Can't do ships. You can do ship? No, oh, I my... love cruise ship. Not me. I can't because I don't know how to swim very well. Um, I don't know. I just, I don't think, I, I, I don't think I can sit there and deal with, um, a moving ship on water, knowing what's below me. Sharks. Mm -mm. You can't do that. Let me look for it. It's an old music book sheet um, I found at a thrift store. And we're probably going to use that. And we're probably going to use this one. Can't do moving ships. You can't do the ship. Have a plane. I could do planes. I've been on. I've been on planes since I was in my mama's belly. I, I don't oh. have no problems at all with planes. What I do have a problem is uh, I'm not a good swim. I mean, I know how to swim. I know how to defend myself. But I had to, um, but I'm not a strong swimmer. So. That plus I have a fear of, of the ocean, so wow, it's not gonna go. It's not gonna go well with me. <laughs> You're opposite of me. I like I like the ship cruise ship, but no, no, no plane for me. No plane for you? No. That that's good like that. I do want to have more of 
and we wanted to sand it down so we got to remember that all right i'm going to sew and stitch some of this stuff so let's sand this baby some areas and again, I don't like making a mess. Wow. Hmm. wow. There's seven children in Gunn's family. Oh. Seven. Five girls, two boys. Five girls, two boys. Hmm. Yep. And how many brothers you have? Six. Two, me? Uh huh. Oh God, no! I have uh, three brothers. Oh, three brothers. Okay, so four. four. Seven no. children. Three. Three. That's enough. <laughs> no, Gun has seven. Her mom and dad has seven children. <laughs> yeah. I hope you guys get along all well because I tell you what, uh, that many kids, I'm sure you guys are always fighting. Two boys and seven girls. Ooh. Two boys, two boys and five girls? Yes, two boys and five girls. So one of the sister already to had her vacation. So now it's her and her other three sisters going on vacation. Oh, so this is a family trip. Mm-hmm. You're traveling with your family gun. Yes, she's going with her three sisters. Aww. <laughs> I might have to go down and see my sister. Um, and my dad, my dad's in Massachusetts and he's sick, so. Not doing too well, May? I was. No. No, I'm sorry. No, he's not doing too well. This is just regular coffee. I and mean, it's probably not going to do too much. But. We're going to try for it with a little bit of the stain. Just to get in those wood greens that we just kind of distressed. guys have seen my channel I like grungy I don't like anything that looks new or polished the grungier the better that's my motto I like grungy she loves grungy I do I don't know why it's just a personal preference Grungy and funky. Keep getting lost. Miss Carol keeps getting lost. I know. Don't get lost, Miss Carol. We're still here. Yep. We're pulling your string up. She loves the grunkiness, the funkiness, the funkiness. Vintage look. Now it looks like it's old and just ugly, right? 
antique and vintage everything about. Yeah, it looks like it's been around a couple of years, right? We entered the war zone and came back. Okay. Yeah, that's what we want. So now I'm going to do the same thing with my. my little... I say the war zone because that's what happens when you get <laughs> Uh oh, she's falling, she's falling. You're falling and you can't get up? <laughs> so, uh -oh, I was about to get worried about that, but then I saw the laughing out loud. Humpty Dumpty. Because Miss Carol has a history of falling, so we got to be careful with Miss oh, Carol. Yeah. Miss Carol, no falling this time, okay? Please do not fall. Now, in the real, real world, you could bake this. I don't have that time right now. I could have okay. cut it, but then I had no time either because I was busy looking for a cutting, bo cutting board. It was all my fault. I told her to go look for the cutting board. Hold on. Yeah, I see. I could barely hear you. Hold on. Okay. I'm sorry. That's okay. No, it's just, this thing is loud. Is Miss Joyce okay? Because I know she hasn't been able to eat. You'll try not to fall. Good, Miss Carol. That's exactly what we want to hear. You're not going to try to fall. Good, and then we're gonna probably do this, and we're gonna stain this up a little. I'm just gonna use my archival. stain. My coffee stain is not as potent as it typically would be, but <clears throat> about you guys but I like the smell of coffee on paper it smells so pretty well we just have to have a paper company to make the special paper for them yeah smelling paper a smelly paper I think paper companies should do that okay this yes <clears throat> they do with the eraser they do all kinds of stuff for the children right young kids I'm sure scratch that's... scratch and smell yeah Sure, it's probably hard to do though. Oh, uh, they could do anything with new technology with nowadays. I have to probably tell China. Yeah. Or I have to call somebody say, hey, can you make a smelly paper and have strawberry, coffee, tea, lemon, <laughs> cotton candy? Can you do something for me? Okay, I'm going to distress it because, yeah, no, I don't want you. 
That'd be that'd be neat, huh? Right? What's up? That'd be neat. Smell What's paper up? where you scratch and smell. Yeah, I think that would be neat. We can have paper that smells good. Yeah, like coffee, like cotton candy. I guess like you could probably spray some perfume on it, like they used to do for love letters. Oh yes, I love letters. Back in olden days, where the world the world people go. Back in the day, you know. Yeah. Romanticizers used to put. Yes, Miss Carol, you remember those days? Miss Carol, she was courted by the same man that she, I mean, she's, she's been with her husband for the past, I don't know, 50 some years. Or 60 like, some years. <laughs> yeah, 50 some years. 50 some years ago, Miss Carol met her husband. <laughs> and she's still with him. Yep. All right, let's distress this so you look like it's been worn down, weathered down, beat up, found in the trash can. <laughs> everywhere. So, it's traveled everywhere. Get those corners in. I should have gotten some branches from outside. Maybe I can get Eric to give me some branches. All right. Good enough, I think. Hi, Miss Penny. Miss Penny. I you went to sleep, Penny. She's back? Yes. She had a phone. She's back, 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 back again. She had a phone call. We missed you, Miss Penny. 61 years, me. Oh my gosh. I said 60 something, so 61 years, me. So she was married when she was in her 20s. Ah, I think. How old were you, Miss Carol? I think she was young when she got married. I believe Miss Carol. All right, we're gonna coffee dye this little guy here. I believe if the story that I recall is correct, she was she was a young girl. Uh -huh. Maybe 15, 16, something like that. Was that correct? Did I remember correctly? I know I forget things. Not intentionally, just got a lot of things on my mind. <laughs> May, I got some good news from my brother today. Wow, what is it? Care to share with all of us? Miss Penny? Congratulations, Miss Penny. She was a child bride. <laughs> my daughter in law cleans my house. Oh, oh that's Thank sweet you. of her. Bless her heart. You told her that her. I said, bless her heart. Such a such a nice woman of her. She has a wonderful father in law oh, and son in law. Look, it kind of, the ink on it is. Oh my God. Did you guys see what the ink, what it did to the ink? Carol was a child bride. Penny says he got the kitchen. Yep, we won't be able to use this image. <laughs> I can't use this image. See what my printer, that printer ink is not the best. Look at that. It, it years so close. 18 so years old. In. All right, 18 let's... years old, Nate. I saw I thought, okay. I knew she was a teenager. I yep. knew that. Teeny bopper. I knew she was, I knew she was young. I thought she was about, I thought she got married about in the 20s, but and not 18 years ago. The ink was bleeding, yeah. Look at that. I've never had that happen before. But then May, again, 
Miss May. Yeah. Penny says he got the kitchen. He got into the kitchen? Oh. No, he got, he got the kitchen, yes. He got the kitchen. He got into the kitchen. So does that mean he- He got into the kitchen, yes. Yeah, does that mean he's- um? He's five. <laughs> Or spray varnish. Um, I don't have any of those hairspray spray varnish. Um, but what I'm probably going to do is, uh, uh, I have another one I'm going to print out. She says it's an ink jet printer. I'm just going to probably, um, yeah. I don't know why I didn't want to print now. Oh, you have to print another one, huh? Because yours is inkjet printer, so it's not a water. Yeah, it's not waterproof. I've never had that happen though before because I've stained my uh, image or, yeah, I've done that before. I don't know if it's that, that ink for this that printer. Top and so that could be it. It's probably this printer. You pray. They do that when you get it wet. Yeah, I've never had it done that before, but um, it's my first time using. I have not printed fabric on this printer the first time, so I guess it's the first time for everything on this printer. Now I know. The good thing I had extra sheets, right? She said they will do with another image too. Did she say that? On the other ones? It's okay. another image that he will do the same thing. So, Miss Penny, does that mean he is organizing or packing up the kitchen or what's he doing in the kitchen? Is he being helpful? Is he being a good brother? Angel like your image. Uh, thank you. This one I got it on um, on Etsy oh, a couple years ago. Back when I was doing all the Christmas stuff. Trustee. Night Angel make, makes me uh, Angel Eyes, that song, Angel Eyes. That's such a pretty song. Trusty. You'll have to tell me what, what that means, Miss Penny. I'm not sure what it means. That means Miss Penny. Well, we know that the image is going to bleed, so we're just going to make it look like it's been destroyed. She's just in the program he's in. Oh, good. That's good. You're such a good sister, Miss Penny. Always worrying and caring about your brothers, even though when they don't care about you, you're always a good sister. Big, big sister? Yeah, she's always oh. caring about her, her brothers. I've got no brother. I'm going to go I, sister. I have brothers. Yeah, you're from, you're, you have only brothers, no sisters. Uh, I have two, um, two sisters. Yeah, 
I'm close to one of them. I like this rolled up look and I'm probably going to keep it that way. And she and is distressing it with her blending brush. With my blending brush and my Tim Holtz vintage photos. <laughs> All right. Good enough for me. Got to learn how to put everything back. Look, Miss Penny, I've learned from the master. And I've closed my stuff, Miss Penny. I'm also learning how to clean up after myself. All right, so that's going to go like so. And I like the way it curls up. That just gives it nice character. And we're probably going to go something like that. And she's got a lot of looking at hers. She's even got burlap. And... Do I have for burlap? I don't think I have burlap, but I have what Young Sue gave me the other day. I did? Oh yeah, I flew over to her house and gave her some. Yeah, you did. Now I gotta remember which bucket that I put it in and I found it. I hit it right here. Look, it, this is perfect for it. <laughs> Young Sue gifted me this, so we're gonna use this, courtesy of Young Sue. You're welcome, my dear. Courtesy of Young Sue. So thank you, Sue, for this one. All right. And she's going to stress more out. <laughs> and I'm going to stress it out because the more stress it is, the better it is. The more yeah. funky it is. The more funky. That's right, young Sue. The more funky it is. Hunky, funky, whatever. <laughs> yep, that's me. That'd be me. Yes, I like that. I don't know you guys, but I do. I like it. Let's see what else we put on here. We have the cheesecloth, and that one should be ready. I also like this little baby up here. I don't know why, but it looks perfect. Angel has a question for you. Miss Penny had a question, but she didn't tell me what her question was. Yes. Read her question. Angel's question. What would it look like if you slant the placement of the image? Like that? I'm liking this little girl here for some reason. It just, I think it gives it really cute character as well. Because, you know, you associate Santa with um, children, right? Uh -huh. Like that, slanted. Yes, she says, like that. Oh, she's talking about the shoes two hours ago. She said she did uh, question you about the two hours ago. It's about the shoes. I didn't see the question. I'm sorry, man. My fault. Oh, about the shoe. Yes, it's about the shoe. Okay, so we're probably going to go. I just slanted a little bit, little bit, just a little, because I don't want him to look like he's drunk, you know. But it almost looked like a little bit of an explosion going on, and I like that. I don't know about you guys, but I like this like this, and I'm probably going to go stitch, stitch, and probably glue a little bit or maybe stitch a little but I kind of like the feel of this, the, where it's kind of popping out of the cutting board. And I like that. I do, I do, I do. Now, twine. And she's got hers going around it. So we're probably gonna maybe mimic that a little. 
not too much, but um, like that. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. I okay, like Penny. That. I'm sorry. I like that. So I'm probably going to stitch here a bit. Let's stick that one out a little. So I'm going to take this down to the sewing machine and I'm going to stitch what I can stitch. Let's get our handy dandy glue sticks and glue down. If you're going to glue on or sew on your sewing machine, the best thing to do is get your glue sticks up for that. Right now, it's a perfect time to stock up on this stuff. I'm going to stock up on it on the first one here. It gets paid. Um, the glue stick? The glue sticks because it's on sale. School oh, okay. Supplies. Yeah, this is the best time when kids are um, oh, going to school, school, going to back to school supplies. Yep. School supplies are on sale right now. And the good thing about it is that you can just use this to glue down your stuff and then stitch on. And it dries clear, so. All right, so we have that. We have our cheesecloth, so let's get that dried up so we can see how that looks behind. And then we're going to probably run this in to get sewn. you two hours ago, huh? <laughs> you know my brain is a little bit cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> you did? I didn't even hear and I wasn't even around. I, I don't know where I was. <laughs> I'm sorry. I like to go in really close with my heat gun because it almost gives it a burning effect and ages it up more. Oh. That's Just be basic. very cautious when you're doing this because when you're doing it, you can set, you know, a fire. So just make sure that you're you're forewarned that if you're going to do that, I have water nearby. So, well, dump water on it, but I normally like doing that. See how it kind of bakes it into that crisp. So it gives it a nice burnt look, even though it's not really burnt. It's not really, I mean, not really old, but I like that look. I'm not sure why I threw that there. All right, so we're going to probably burn it a little bit more because it's a little bit wet for my looks here. Been here for almost two hours and I haven't finished this project yet. All right, now running over to the sewing machine and kind of giving this a little bit of a quick stitch.
Well, I'll be back. Young Susan, entertain you guys. Uh-oh. I'm in trouble. Young Susan, entertaining mode. Sounds like I'm going crazy on my machine, but I'm doing a big of a crazy stitch here, and that's why. Go slow, me. No, I'm doing that on purpose. Okay. I'm doing a slow stitch on purpose because I'm doing a crazy stitch. I just kind of did a random, it's not perfect stitching and that's what I want. I kind of went crazy with the sewing machine going up and down, up and down, zigzags, stitch here, stitch there, not straight stitches. And I'm letting these little dangles dang down because that is the character that, um, the look that we're trying to um, accomplish here. All right, so we have that. We're probably going to take this and wrap it behind, though, before we glue this down. And this is going to go there as well. I like that. And I got this big old baby a couple years ago. Um, we did a project, and we got that. I don't know how it survived because I think Eric kept it. Peppermint Bay? What about Peppermint? Oh, peppermint. we're singing the Shirley Temple song. Oh, I, I was singing, um, it's a good. Uh, and guys, you guys know, I don't know the lyrics. So if I screw it up, don't laugh at me. That's what they're helping me out. Good shit. Lollipop. And that's all I remember. <laughs> all right, so let's wrap this baby up. Night Angel's going to sing in Spanish, me. Ah, she's going to sing in Spanish? Uh-huh, and then you could sing in Spanish. La bamba, la bamba, la bamba. Para bailar la bamba se necesita una poca de gracia. Sí, sí, no, una poca de gracia para mi patilla y arriba y arriba. There you go. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we got 
twine here and there. Um, can't really see it. So we're going to have to move that around so we can see it. What's the purpose of having it? We can't see it, right? Por mi seré, por mi seré. Yo no soy marinero. Yo no soy marinero. Soy capitán. No, I don't like that look. Soy capitán, soy capitán. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. All right, we're going to do this on top of Santa because there is no reason why we are putting in a uh, twine and can't see it. The way she's got it, she's got it behind everything, but I want to be able to see this baby. You know? Miss Ray is here. Miss Happy Ray is here. Hi, Elizabeth. Yo no soy manirero, soy capitán, soy capitán, soy capitán. Ba, 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 ba. All right, so that's how we're going to do this, baby, I think. I think that's how we're going to do it. We're going to wrap it out and probably glue it down like that and so if we have lots of flowers and goodies that we're gonna do um i think that'll that'll look good you know all right i think that's what we're gonna do all right so i'm gonna glue santa baby down santa baby santa baby all right so let's glue santa down are we going to glue Santa down? We're going to get yes. some handy dandy hot glue gun, hot diggity dog. I know, I know, I can't get rid of this glue gun, guys. <clears throat> but you know what? This glue gun's been through, through three boyfriends, two cars. Is that how the commercial <laughs> <Russia> goes? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> oh, boy. This glue gun's been through everything with me. <laughs> Even through the war zone? It's been through the war zone and back. Wow. Mm-hmm. It sure has. That's not crooked. That sure is crooked. We don't have to remove that, baby. We ain't having crooked today. Uh, this uh, when, uh, Miss Gun is going to bed right now. It's 4 a.m., she says. Good night, Miss Gun. Guess I could have do, done undo. Ow. Ow, that hurt me. <laughs> Heck with that. I think it's, let's do undo, because man, I am not burning my fingers. Not today, mama, not today. Uh-oh. The only thing about hot glue, but it's my trusty friend, you know. And thank God and thank goodness for the inventors of Undo that comes to my rescue when I glue something backwards. I can't stand something not being symmetrical. Try to go back where I just took you down from, guys. Come on now. It's 
It's a good thing this cutting board is not meant for eating. <laughs> Set it right on the little tag. Decoration purposes only. Not sure what that meant, but <laughs> I'm sure it probably came from a country, a third world country. <laughs> oh, you're funny, man. I'm serious. That's what it said on the packaging. Really? <laughs> yeah, I'm not meant for cooking. Wow. Not meant it must have made up made up something that you can't. It probably has it. something in there that you can't, yeah. That's why so that's why it's on the decoration section. Yeah. Wow. All right. Let's but they have to write it or else they'd be, be sued. Let's let's be smart about this and be um ooh, I like the way it look it I don't I didn't mean to do this, but for some reason the undo gave me a rust effect. <laughs> I'm gonna take that. Yes, she I know. Likes that. She loved that. I love that one. That was good. That was a good rust effect. You know what? What if I did the thread this way instead of the way she had it? I could do it this way. Oh yeah, I like it that way better. And that way I could put the flowers. Yeah, I like it this way. See? Yeah, I do. All right, so we're going to glue Santa Baby down for the second time around. Seems to be fine now, the glue. Did you know Joyce was here? Yeah, Joyce, yeah. Uh oh, okay. Duh. Yeah, the wood purse, that's what I, uh, it's probably, that's what I was thinking. There was something on it that's not safe for eating. Yeah. That's what I kind of gathered. Miss, Miss, um, Miss Joyce has been here since we first started. She's just been quiet today. Are you feeling okay? Ooh, that's a lot of glue coming out of that thing. You feeling okay, Miss uh, Joyce? It's, this is supposed to be the ultimate crafter's glue. <laughs> well, let's see if it is. Let's see how ultimate this is. It's got an ultimate hole. Guess I won't be risking it tonight and trying to do the, the she says she's a little tired. And you're a little tired feeling okay. Did you eat today, Miss Joyce? I'm worried about her. I know. Her eating is, her yes. eating is not good. <clears throat> she didn't go to see the doctor yet. This thing got a big old Oh, oh, I'm so brilliant. Oh, my God, I'm so smart. What happened? <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. You opened I'm not going to tell you. I am so smart, guys. I know you're smart. That's why you cracked it. Guys, I'm just really smart. Just by believe that I am smart. <laughs> I'm 
say why? Yes, she says she's oh, eating good. it. Good. All right. So I said, why is this this hole so huge? There's a little thingy here, you know, that uh, a lot smaller. Wasn't thinking. So you turn and, oh, my Lord, that was a quick May moment. Quick May moment. That's what happens when you don't buy. Uh -oh. Penny says she saw it. You saw it, Miss Penny. Shh, don't say it. Don't be don't quiet, it. Penny. Penny, don't say anything. Shh, keep it to yourself. Yeah, don't say nothing, Miss Penny. Shh. <laughs> don't tell May. <laughs> don't tell May. May already knows. <laughs> uh -oh. That was a very good moment, guys. I was did it on purpose to make me laugh. That was an epic moment, mind I tell you. Yeah, she did it on purpose to make me I laugh. sure did. I, I meant to do that. You guys just did not see that. Yeah. We're going to make a bow out of that one. Okay, so we got that kind of going in. We're going to... I like this here. Um, I like that little girl there. Where's that twine? Twine. Twine, twine. All right. Where do we want you? We want you here. Do we want you here? We still got to do the gesso. So I think we're going to go this way. And we're probably going to build on. You must be tired. Who? Joe, Joe says you must be tired. Who, Miss um, Miss Miss Joyce? No, you. You must be tired. Oh, me. Nate Lawson must be tired. Oh no, Joe. Uh, Joe, I'm always um, cuckoo for cocoa puffs. <laughs> and she's a Canadian. Who is you? I'm Canadian. I am. Yeah, you make us laugh. Oh, a comedian. Yes. <laughs> I'm a comedian. That I am. See? Even your children says you're funny. Only, yeah, my kid says that I need to have a, a comedy show. Yes, you need a comedy show. You guys don't see how I act with her children. Yeah, I, I even dance and they're like, Mom, don't do that. <laughs> I'm going to have a call to take a picture and send it to me. <laughs> Hey, Carlo, if you're listening. Nani's listening, probably. Nani, if you're listening. Okay, we got all those fibers and all those beautiful threads, but I like that like that. I don't know about y'all, but I, I do, I do. I, I love like it. it. I love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> Pen is so funny. I left out loud. <laughs> Miss Penny. Miss Penny. Did you love out so hard that you felt? I'm good for that. You know, I'm good for making you guys laugh. And I'm glad I do that. That's my whole intention in life. I'm just putting gesso now. Yeah, oh, she is good. <clears throat> That's why I say you're a comedian. I'm a comedian, yeah. And I'm going to have Carla or Nani to take a videotape of you and send it to me. Oh, I did see you dancing one time. Yeah. yeah, you like it this direction too? I do too. I'm glad you like that. I thought it I thought it looked better this direction. For composition <laughs> purposes and the direction yeah. of it. Everybody Joy says she saw it too and just laughing. <laughs> I'm so glad I made you guys laugh. <laughs> <laughs> you made our day. <laughs> oh, Lord. My kids, are, my kids are telling me that I should do a YouTube story time because I have some crazy stories of childhood and paranormal stuff when I was growing you up. You should, May. And, um, and my daughter's like, Mom, you're so funny. Um, the other day we were in the car and my son played this song and if I was to sing the song to you guys I, I'm I'm almost 48 guys in 
less than four months, I'll be 48. No, and, you're not. <laughs> and so he turns on the radio and he puts this song and I'm teaching him how to drive. And so he turns on this, the, the song in the radio. I'm driving. He's in the passenger seat. I'm giving him instructions, instructions about how to turn and all that. All that craziness. So we're just, hey, okay, so pause for a minute. I'm just going in quick with uh, some gesso. And this is pretty thick gesso. So you want to lay it in good. Even going in on my image. Anyway, the song's coming in. It's rocking. And uh, all of a sudden, this other song comes in that he puts on. And I, I like listening to Spanish songs. Yeah, I, if you ever see me on the highway... Um, and if I have Spanish songs, especially reggaeton, mama or salsa or something, I'm in a car, I'm driving or in the passenger seat and that music's on, I'm going to dance. I'm going uh -oh. to break out dance. To move? And I'm gonna... Oh, yeah. Do you have to move? So... Huh? Do we have to move away from you then if we see you in high rate? <laughs> You're probably going to be like, what is that crazy lady doing? Anyway, so... This song comes on and I'm listening to my Spanish music and this song comes on. Oh, you're calling me. Oh, I can't. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Um, this song comes on and I looked at my son. My, Hi, Evelyn. I looked at my son and I'm like, what in the world are you doing? And he's like, I'm playing my music. And I'm like, no, you're not, child. I'm driving. You listen to my music. And he's like, no, mom, you have to listen to this song. And so it starts. And he starts to do this funny dance, right? He, my son has this funny dance that he does. In, in fact, I recorded him doing it. And I look at him, and I'm looking at him. My daughter in the back's laughing. and she goes, oh, my God, mom, if you can only see the look on your face. And the song, the words, the lyrics to the words, to the, the, the lyrics to the song, I just looked at my son and said, what are you listening to? He says, this is the hottest thing right now, mom. And I'm like, uh, no. Anyway, my kids her, uh, recorded me <laughs> rapping. They yeah. got me the, <laughs> they recorded me. They said, mom, we want you to listen to this song and we want you to sing the song. So he gave me the lyrics and it recorded me saying the lyrics to the song. Now, mind you, the lyrics to the songs to the song is horrible, but it was just so funny because I'm thinking, what is this music? This is music for real. This is not music. You pause my music to put this junk on, <laughs> but it's bad. It's really, really bad. Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't like that kind of rap music. It has a bad word. I know, but, you know, kids nowadays, they listen to anything. And, oh, I know. And uh, they just thought it was funny that mom was... Uh, rapping? Rapping to the song. <laughs> oh, oh, Lord. Okay, there you go. I think that is good. We might put some down here on her. Just a smitten of it. Imagine that. May was rapping. I was rapping. Yes, I was rapping, guys. Oh. You never know about May. Okay. Guys, and you know what I like this? This um, I don't even have to pop out my modeling paste because this gesso is so thick that I don't even I didn't even have to crack open my modeling paste. <laughs> Look at that. It almost looks like snow. It's real thick. Oh, kind of funny. Perfect thick. Perfect thick. So perfect that we can do blobs of it here and there. Penny says, I thought you were going to say, say it was shark song. Shark song? You know, those little shark song that little babies dance to it? Oh, no. It was, it was a bad song. <laughs>
It was a bad, bad song. In Spanish? No, it was in English. Oh. Oh, no. It was a rap song in English. Oh, no. All right, let's get some uh, coffee dye in here. Oh, okay. okay. No worry, Penny. <laughs> Sometimes I cannot read the thing, so I'm just telling her. Mm. No worry, Penny. Me and I are just good friends. Right oh, yeah. No problem, no worries. Don't worry. Oh, yeah, it's pretty easy, Evelyn. Just a cutting board and some paper that we sew on and pretty easy. Easy peasy. We even put some, um, what do you call that thing? Elmer's what? glue. We put Elmer's, Elmer's glue. glue. Yeah, we put some Elmer's glue. Elmer's glue is the cheapest one. Yeah, cheapest cheapest glue on town. Yep. Well, it's best time to buy it now. Yeah, the best time to buy it now, but it did hold down. Uh oh. Oh, wait, there I was about to. Oh my God! Somebody take the glue bottle away from me. I was about to open it up the wrong way again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. What's up with this Penny, following me? Penny, that's your job. <laughs> Why isn't it come? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh my God. I'm telling you. I earned a PhD on this one. I earned a prize to the most talented, smartest genius of the world goes to May, the person that cannot figure out a glue bottle. Oh, that's... I like the curling of the edges, so that is okay with me um, because it just gives it character. Okay. Gives it character, guys. And the prize goes to the genius, Mae Larson, who cannot figure out how to open up a glue bottle. I am so smart like that, that I couldn't figure out a glue bottle. Spent $20,000 on denture implants, still have trouble keeping in. Ooh, Miss Carol. Oh, you need to go MD. back. You're still having issues with your teeth? Tell her to go back to the dentist and have it fixed again. I would ask that doctor for a refund. For sure. Refund for sure. For sure. All right, we got this. What else do we have that we're going to put on here? that I said I was going to put on here and I haven't put on here, flowers. We said we were going to put flowers. I better put these flowers on. I paid a lot of money for these flowers. Four bucks for them. Expensive little boogers. Oh, gee. That's expensive boogers. Couldn't even get them on sale. Oh, you mean a uh, hobby lob ho hobby lobby's not gonna give you a discount? Hobby lobby didn't give me a discount. 
much. How rude of them. How rude, I know, right? You go there almost every day. Well, I used to go every day. In my defense, in their in their defense, more like. I no longer there go there every day. I now I now find other things to do. I now go to school. Thank God for school, right? Hey, these I picked up at um, what do you call that place? Uh, Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning. Yeah, Tuesday morning. So I'm just gonna grab three in a little stack, and I'm gonna try to cut this. I don't have wire cutters. Tim Holtz scissors cut wire, right? Grab one and twist it. Right, Young Sue? Yes. Tim Holtz scissors cut wire. Well, no. I yes. Know. There we go. Yes. It does. Well, we just found out, right? I did go back mm -hmm. and he adjusted still trouble. I would take those back and I would say, sir, I demand a refund. I demand a refund. And if you don't give me a refund, I'm going to sick the crafting community after you because I need my... <laughs> <laughs> We're going to use the little uh, pieces of wire that fell off of this as a little curling mechanism. <laughs> I'm going to sick the, the, the crafting community after you and they already know that these chompers aren't working. I wish I had a little curling device because these really need to curl. And we got some hollies, but there these hollies are too bright for me. We need to we need to make these a little bit distressed. Where's my tin? Yeah. Just the. Oh my gosh! You spent forty thousand, May. Twenty on the top and twenty on the bottom. Oh my God, Miss Carol, you want me to go in there and take care of business? <laughs> you want me to go in there and take care of that man? Angel says, she's so hot. Just watch, looking at you because we just long sleep. I need a sweater. It's a sweater. It's a sweater. You're probably, if I tell you it's a sweater, you're probably going to get even more hotter. <laughs> yeah, she says she's already getting hotter. Just, just looking at you with the long sleeve. She's getting hot. It's getting hot in there. Please don't take off all your clothes. <laughs> they don't give you a refund. They won't give you a refund. You are liking, I hope you guys are, are liking this here. <laughs> it just says, I'm dying. Sweater. A sweater. It's a sweater, huh? Yeah, it's a sweater. Oh, you know me. Angel, you're not the only one. I'm dying here. <laughs> Y'all dying there, and I'm over here cold. Breathing. You must have an air conditioner on, huh? Do I have the air conditioner on? I don't. Mr. Larson does. You gotta have the AC on. I sleep with a blanket all summer, a thick blanket all summer, oh all winter. Yes, I do. Oh yes. Oof. Made of gold. <laughs> oh, Miss Penny, you need to go back and have to make another one. That is ridiculous. What happened with Miss Penny? We're trying to, we're figuring. I know, not Miss Penny, Miss Carol. I'm sorry. I get mixed up with people's name today. Oh. I'm sorry. All right. We're just figuring this out before we glue down, guys. That's how I do it. <gasps> Tanya got thermal on. Oh, my Lord. Well, she's, a, Tanya's in 11 degrees weather. <laughs> oh, that's right. You're in the Australia, Australia weather. Sorry, Tanya. You could put your thermal on. 
We are summer here. 90 degree. <laughs> and Angel's in Puerto Rico, right? No, she's in Pennsylvania. Oh, uh oh. She's saying he, somebody says it's not on, man. What's not on? AC. In my house? Mm hmm. He says it's very hot downstairs. It's not on. Don't no. believe that man. Don't believe that man. <laughs> See, I told you they're stalking me. <laughs> <laughs> don't believe that man. Don't believe him? No, oh, don't believe him. I thought I believed him. I thought he was a trusty man. He's lying to you. Oh, he is? So from <laughs> now on, I shouldn't believe him? Oh, yeah, Tanya, I need to go to your place, Tanya. I'm hot. You're oh, hot. Oh, yes. Oof. All right, let's see if I find some pine cones here because I know I had something here. <sighs> Might have to take some from that ornament I had the other day. What did I do with it, young Sue? Ornament? I don't know. Penny, look for it. You have to have this lesson. We're gonna steal the the pine cone from something here. Oh. <laughs> okay, you two need to go on a, a road trip with the comedian road trip. <laughs> I'm sitting down here sweating to death because somebody doesn't look. <laughs> somebody tell that man to shush. Shush. Mind his mind his manners. Oh. <laughs> okay, May, I think you better go stay with Tanya for a while. She has a fire going on. No, I think he needs to go to with Tanya for a bit because he likes it cold. I like it hot. Okay, you, you have to sit by yourself. We all want to go to Tanya. So, Tanya, could we come to your house, all of us? We're just sweating here. <laughs> Cover the ink, May. Oh, okay, Miss Penny. <laughs> See, I was trying. I was trying to make sure you were awake, Miss Penny. That was just. That was just checking quality control, making sure you're not asleep. That was quality control. She's awake, guys. She's awake. Don't feel sorry for him, um, Lourdes. Don't be feeling sorry for him. He a liar. <laughs> Why? Oh. He, guys, he has the AC blowing. <laughs> Don't believe that, man. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm not, I'm not, Nani. Hello, Nani. Oh, I'm sure Nani's out down there probably conspiring with him. They got a conspiracy going, ladies. It's a conspiracy. Carla. <laughs> oh, Miss Carla. Oh, Miss Carla's with her boyfriend. <laughs> How about Theo? Mr. Theo. Hello, son. Ito is at work. He can't defend me. <laughs> How about the dogs? They got the fur. The dog don't want to defend me either. They probably say that 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 woman is crazy. All right, what do y'all think? Oh my gosh, Evelyn hates the color, and her husband loves the color. <laughs> Evelyn hates what? Evelyn says she doesn't like the cold. Oh, see, you're my kind of girl, Evelyn. See, I like you. I knew I liked you for a reason, Evelyn. I like you because, see, you don't like the cold either. See? <laughs> Eric is so funny, too, like you may. It's so hot down here, the dogs took their... <laughs> <laughs> 
see what I gotta live with, guys? You see, see I that? told you, you, I told you to, to go on a road trip. <laughs> you see what I gotta deal with, guys? He could do the crafting, he could do the joke, okay? <laughs> crafting joke. <laughs> you see that, guys? I said, I don't see nothing. <laughs> you, I, of course, you're not seeing nothing, young Sue. You're, you're, you're on their side because you like the hot. You like the cold. I, I see you with the long sleeve. <laughs> All right, see, now you don't see my sleeve. You see that? Now you see my Chewbacca arms. <laughs> <laughs> and just being funny. Noof, this is being funny too. Thank you, um, Joe. See, Joe is paying attention to what I'm doing. She's the only one here. No, paying I'm paying attention. attention. It's beautiful. It has a it's the only Christmas one paying attention. <laughs> oh. All right, we're gonna do a quick little cute somewhat a bow here. And we're probably gonna jam it in here somewhere before we, we gotta do you guys like the position of my composition? The position of my composition. How's that for for some Penny says Penny is asking you, do you have any stickle? Do I have clear st stickle? Do I have clear stickles? Yes, I do. Where are we putting clear stickles? Tanya says she loves it. This is pretty, she says. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, we have another piece of a wire here. Angel, Miss Angel, I believe the dog too. You believe who? <laughs> the dog. You believe the dog? Young yeah. Sue, I thought you were my friend. You have my back. I am your friend and I have your back. But come to the web, I have to go away to every I'm, I'm a composer. <laughs> <laughs> you compose. You, know, you got that sick on your hand. That's what. Oh. Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun. That was it. <laughs> okay, so we got this Kia. It is beautiful, me. Going yes, on. it is very beautiful. And very Christmassy now. Now it looks like because of the red. Now it looks like Christmas. And the way she's got it is that way. I don't have all those flowers nor cones. So here. Don't have to be exact. Yeah, doesn't have to be exact. <laughs> okay. Oh. The heat's getting to her. Oh my God. Someone put a <laughs> muzzle on him. Did I say the right word? Look at what Penny said, me. Gong. <laughs> <laughs> oh. well since mr smart ass is downstairs listening maybe he can go downstairs grab me some old branches <laughs> and bring it up here yes honey i love christmas too i love christmas that's my favorite favorite season season Out, now I'm getting more harder because I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> oh. Anybody out there just listening, come join the party. You I'm about to go downstairs, guys. I'm about to go downstairs. You don't have a down you don't have a downstairs. Did you see that? You see that abuse? You see that abuse, guys? That's called spousal abuse. <laughs> it's called crafter's spousal abuse. Oh, I like that. A little. Guys, what can we do about Mr. Lips? Do you think we can paint him a new... <laughs> I don't know.
no, check, check. I thought we didn't have a downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have the downstairs? He's coming uh, how up. About, how about the elevator then? <laughs> All right, let's, you guys like this, the way I position my flowers here? It's stitchy. Good enough. <laughs> Any dried stitch, st stitch, any dried stick. Do we have any of the lavender sticks? Okay, grab me a couple, but without the leaves. Without the dried, huh? Too much work. Guys, you see that? What? What did he do? Did he throw up at you? He's getting lippy. Good night, Miss Joe. I will email you. See, he did brought it to you. See, he answered my prayer. <laughs> he answered me, me. He I answered told him you. to do it for me. You did, huh? Mm -hmm. Huh. I told him to do it for me. <laughs> Five thirty. Whoa. Hi, D Barb. Thank you, Miss D Barb. It's 5.30. Where are you? Um, yo, she's in the East Coast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's over here, I think. She no, she's in um oh East Coast. Whoa. She's in um Georgia. I think she said Georgia. That's early. Wow. All right, we're just gluing, guys. This is a gluing matter now. To everyone, my Facebook is Joette Pappen. And then my friend requests you can never have too many friends. Absolutely, Miss Joe. I will check you out. Joette Patter's passion. I will remember that and check. Everyone here calls me May. Um, I'll send you a friend request and you'll see it because I, I forgot what's on my, um, what image I have on my Facebook. I don't know. I don't know, but. I'll let you know it's May. I'll send you a message. No idea what I've glued down and what I've not glued down. I hear footsteps, so that means that Mr. Larson found what I asked him to find. I guess he couldn't get too lippy. What? My hands smell better than they've ever smelled. Oh, I just has a question for you, man. Oh, see, you should, you should, you should be getting. Hi, nice Mr. Look. Larson. Hello. Hi, Mr. Larson. So it was Thank you, Mr. Larson. Right. Okay, so we're just putting some little. These are from my um, lavender plants. And I think if I can get it in here, I think it'll look cute. Um, you're taking your minions with you? I'm sorry, excuse me, May. I'm sorry? Oh, um, D-Barb said hi. Hello. Excuse me, May. Uh, Tanya has a... Hi, Mr. Larson. Uh, Thank you. D-Barb said hi. Hello. And hello, hello. yes, Tanya, I will send you a friend request. Absolutely. May thought Allison. you were on the East Coast. No, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, May's in Texas. May's in Texas. I'm not a Texas girl, but we live in Texas. I can do a Texas <laughs> accent.
Not sure if it's a, probably appropriate to talk like a taxi. <laughs> I hope nobody's a, te a true tre Texan and saying, girl, you need to stop. So these are from my lavender plant. Aren't they pretty? I have a garden, guys. Oh, wow. It's in my therapy. I have a garden. We got tomatoes and cucumbers and some zucchini. My, my, remember I used to say I didn't have a green thumb? Well, now I have a green thumb. Oh, gosh. I've been growing some... Even onions. Awesome, man. Awesome. Yay for me. I know, right? I, I was shocked when I saw the plants mm -hmm. growing. When I saw those plants growing, I said, okay, that means I can, I no longer have a black thumb. I surpassed the black thumb curse. May, yes. can you do the four steps? Uh-huh. What? Can I do the four steps? No, I don't know. I don't know how to do any of that stuff, Miss Joyce. I can do bachata, merengue, coca, uh, yeah. I can do reggaeton. I can't do any she of that. Do the Spanish dance. I can do the Spanish dance, yes. I can do that. Her, country, her Puerto Rican dance. Yeah, I can do that. The stuff in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Cuando niño jugaba en tus calles en esa isla de se morir. Okay. Oh, that looks so pretty, guys. Look. Isn't that pretty? And see, this lavender yes. stuff, it dried up so uh, beautiful, mate. Oh, that would be pretty like for I Christmas this time. It, but I didn't. I love that stick, your purple stick. It'd be my, pretty for Christmas. My lavender stuff? Yes. So Christmassy. No. All right, y'all know I got to get some cheesecloth in here and you got on your cheesecloth i got my cheesecloth in here so we're going to tuck some cheesecloth in here somewhere uh, uh -oh. here's come the music i know sorry guys I can't answer the phone right now. Everybody says it's beautiful. They'll love it, man. All right. Let's go in here. I'm just tucking. I'm trying to find a place to make it more stress and shabbier and, you know, more uh, funkiness. Funky, yeah, that's that's the word I wanted to use. See, I know me. I could read me's mind. See? Yeah, she's it's scary me. Yeah, she knows. She knows how to read my mind. She knows, you know, you know. She like the shabbiness, the funkiness. I like that. The crunchiness. I like the funky. I was going to put some of this in here, but I don't even know if we need this. I don't know. We'll see. Because I like I might the crunchiness and funkiness. I like the funkiness. I do. I like funky. And, and crunchiness. That's and what Mr. That's what the team host always say. I like the funkiness, I like the grunginess, I like, I don't know. Shabby chic. Mm-hmm. I sure do. Sparkles. Mm-hmm. She likes all of that. I do, I do. I do. And we're probably going to put that like so there, like a form of a bow with something there, I don't know. 
I think that'll look cute there. Let's find a button. No. Let's see, with my flowers. I just had the flowers. Where did I throw the flowers? Oh, my Lord. Just had the flowers right here on the desk. Puerto Rico. Cuando niño jugaba en tus calles. No, that's too much. En esa isla deseo morir. Puerto Rico, nuestra isla del canto. Rocky Ruiz con su llanto. Quiere Puerto Rico, mi ambición es tenerte. Como todo un boricua. All right, let's look for some funky buttons here. And whoever knows the lyrics to that song and is listening to me and they're probably saying you're not even singing that song right, that's okay. I sing it to the tune of my own head. All right, we're going to do this one. Mi ambición es tenerte, Puerto Rico. I know May thought D Barb lived in the East Coast, but she doesn't. No, no, no. Um, no, um, not D Barb. D Barb lives in uh, Nevada. It was uh, Miss Joe. Miss Joe lives in um, the East Coast. Miss Joe. All right, we're going to do this. Puerto Riqueño me hiciste hasta la muerte. Ah, oh, thank you, Miss Evelyn. Este año me jodía con tus valles. En esa isla deseo morir. Puerto Rico. Guys, I'm trying to get my fingers don't want to work today. Oh, can't get my bow on, guys. What's up with that? All right, let's do it this way. I don't know why I can't get my fingers to bend. All right, do what we can. Mi ambición es tenerte, Puerto Rico. All right, I'm still going to go ahead and attach all this craziness because that's just how I am. Um, we're going to do it anyway. If you have a bow maker, you can do this funky bow, but right now my fingers don't want to turn or do anything. So we're just going to make shift a bow here. Cuz I'm not messing with my fingers. They don't want to mess with me today. 
Why are you so quiet, um, Miss Yangsu? Yes. Why are you so quiet? What? You're quiet. Oh. Mi ambición es tenerte en Puerto Rico. We probably won't even be needing all this. I don't know. Y'all know I like to put something on there. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Might not even be needing that. Hold on. We probably won't be putting a bow. You have any more flowers? No, I think that flowers is probably overdoing. I think that's overdoing it there. Okay. No problem. That's gonna overdo it there. I think that what do you guys I think that looks cute if I jam that in there. Kind of balance it out. Yes. The color will balance it out. What do you think? And I'm probably gonna find one of Tim Holt's little one of not this particular one, but one of his little messages and maybe put it. Mm-hmm. Somewhere here, or maybe not. What y'all think? That whatever you have there on the corner is fine. Yeah. Looks good. I like that. Yes. Good, good. Yes, it is. Right. Take it off. And let me see. Take it off and let me see the. Right. Yeah, it's too plain. Yeah, you need that on the corner. Like yeah. that? No, no. Put your bow back on me. Put the bow back. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's better. All right, we're going to jam the bow up the hoo-ha. We're going to put the bow up the hoo-ha. Yes. Here? Yes. Okay. Everybody likes to beat the bow on it. Everyone likes to boot the bow. Okay. All right, let's jam the bow up the hoo-ha. Yeah, it's too, um, it has a, it's missing something there. Yeah, it needed it needed a it needed a bow. And we can probably tie it up. See that little button? Mm -hmm. Bring that brassy look on there. Mm-hmm. Yes. I like that. Mm-hmm. And we still need to jam these in. Cuando niño jugaba en tus valles, en esa isla deseo morir. Puerto Rico, nuestra isla del canto, Franky Ruiz con su llanto. Quiere serte feliz, Puerto Rico, mi ambición es tenerte. Y'all know I can't pass up fibers. This is like glory goodness stuff right here. That's like, isn't that pretty? That fiber mm -hmm. just got to go in here somewhere. I don't know about y'all, but I like fibers. And that glory goodness from the burlap is not going to waste for sure. Not with me. Cuando niño, oh yeah, ah, uh, mm hmm yep, I found the home. Make sure all those fibers are tied in there. Cuando niño jugaba en tus valles, en la isla, deseo morir. All right. Well, I don't know about you guys, but that is my version of the altered 
cooking or cutting board. Can you get that right? Found it. That's funny. You have 17 followers. <laughs> yes, please subscribe to my channel. Please do. No, she's please. talking about. Yes, please. Uh, she's talking about her channel. Sub, sub, sub. Mm -hmm. You haven't done so. And if you have, thank you so much for the support, the love. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, for Miss May. This go May. Go, go, go. Go, May, go. <laughs> go. Go, May, go, go. Let's see if we can put a little bolt. I got to learn how to clean up after myself. I got assignments to do tomorrow. It's beautiful, May. Stunning, okay. gorgeous, May. What Ooh, you made like yesterday, you will go with that together. One of a kind. It is one of a kind, right? Mm hmm I like that one. Miss Penny's asking you if you're going to put anything on the handle. Huh? Are you going to put anything on the handle? Miss no, Penny's I, asking. No, I think I'm going to leave it like that. I kind of like this twine burlap thingy. But what do you guys think about yeah. without That's that? That's their style. You like that burlap. Or like that. Of course, we're going to distress that. Living the moment. Find joy in the ordinary. I think I like the one of a kind. One of a kind? Mm -hmm. I think it's a little too small though. Kind of got lost there. Mm. Okay, put the one with the big letters in, with the big bolt. Yeah, yeah. Salvage, no, just kidding. <laughs> no, no, no. Collect beautiful moments, curiosity. Dwell in the past. Have a beautiful at moment. Ooh, remember this. Find joy, create art. Remember the now. Oh. I think I need to believe in yourself. Oh, that's not, doesn't go with the theme. Today is full of possibilities. Lucky is a state of mind. No. See the world. That's too small. Embrace the journey. Penny says, Penny's asking you, how about discovery? Discovery? Did we see a discovery? discovery. We have discovery. Live that. I didn't see that one. Maybe she did. Home. <clears throat> Lucky, noted, relic. Did you saw one yesterday? Discovered? Mm, I don't remember. Believe in yourself doesn't go with the theme. Follow your heart doesn't go with the theme. Creativity takes courage. Huh. Collections. Documented? Is that the one she said? We have documented. But not discovery. How about I believe in Santa? You have that one? I believe in Santa? No, not in this one. <laughs> okay. That's, I'm just reading what they're saying. <clears throat> I believe in Santa. No, they don't have those. Today's this is from Team Holt, so you know, Team Holt says yeah. I don't know. Does he have a Christmas one? 
Yeah, he does make Christmas things, but not the words. Yeah, I don't think he has the words. All right, so we don't have, this is what we have. Choose to shine. So I don't know what you guys like. I like either remember this, you know, remembering Christmas. Okay. Documented. I like remember this. I thought, you know, documented, the size of that looks perfect for this. Oh, because of the, it's a dark color of the letter and really... It oh, brings write, it out. Write my own. I don't have good penmanship. I write funky. Yeah, I don't know, but this this size kind of. She likes remember. Remember, yes. Remember that. Remember this. Remember this. That's what the angel one likes. But see how little it looks. Uh huh. Look at the difference between that one that's little. Whatever you like me. It's your and then genuine. Do we have a we do have genuine? That's a good that's a good size too. See the lot size? Mm -hmm. That's a good size. So we have genuine or documented. Which one do you guys like? They're salvaged. Documented. Because it's it's been salvaged. No, that sounds kind of. But it's been salvaged because it was totally a different. Right. What are we like? I like the dark print of the letter. Yes, if it does bring it out. <clears throat> Back it with she something says, to make it pop. What do you mean? She says to pop it up. Put, you mean, um. I think she meant to like a put the double sided tape or I mean the you mean like this? Yeah, she says to pop it up just like a 3D, like you did yesterday in the book. Yeah. Home. You know how you put like the on the shoes. Oh yeah, we have home. Home stream home? Oh that's pretty. Home is perfect. I think home is good because it's it is for home, right? Right. I think home would be good. Perfect. Good choice. Uh, Divar, good choice. I didn't even notice we had home. But I think home will be do will do it. Still think we should be naughty and save San Santa. <laughs> there goes my Spanglish. Santa. Save uh Sa Sa oh my god, can't get it out. <laughs> save Santa. This is exactly how I tear up my ink pads, guys, just so you all know. Because I'm too great, too lazy to go in the... Uh... Get the brush? <laughs> yeah. You know it. I told you I read her mind. Scary me. I know, huh? But you know what mm -hmm. I was thinking? She said, pop it up. What if we pop it up with some twigs? Oh, that'd be good. <clears throat> what if we popped it up with some twigs? What about that? Too much? No. What do you guys think? Pop that. I like it. How is that? I love it. I need to find a way to store all these little. Perfect, perfect, love it. You like it with the twigs? If you like it with the twigs popped up, tell me twigs. Love it. Twigs? Is it twigs? Twigs. Okay. Twigs. I see D-barb. Twigs. Evelyn. 
Yes, Twix, look this. Young Sue Twigs, Joyce Twigs, Tanya Twigs, Penny Twigs. All right. Twigs and majority is Twig, man. Twigs. So. Twigs, Twigs. All right. Twigs it is, Twigs. Silly kids. Tricks, this is for kids. And home it is. Home it is. And there is the completed ta ta yeah. cutting board. Just finished. Yes, it gave it nice composition. So you start here and you finish there. Good composition. Good choice. Thank you, Ludis. Thank you, D-Bar, for choosing that. And Good composition went very well. So that is it. So here is my version. <laughs> and here is uh, Mark, what's her name? Mirka. Mirka. Murka, Murka, Lung, Lung, whatever, Lung, Murka L from Stampers, oh my God, Stampers, Stampers, Stampers Worldwide. Worldwide. So thank you for your inspiration. Here's hers and here's mine. Yeah. <laughs> so. There it is. I, I absolutely <laughs> oh. love it. It looks fabulous. It looks gorgeous, ladies. And look, we use my lavender, so it's going to smell pretty, too. Perfect. Good night, Miss D. Barb. All right, so Friday. What are we doing Friday? We are going to be doing a... Um, grab your, um, your composition notebooks, get them from, um, Walmart. They're 50 cents right now. Grab some fabric, grab some pretty laces and appliques, and let's make a cover for this. Uh, a lot of teachers uh, would probably love this for school. And uh, if you have a college bound child or grandchild they might want one as well maybe not so frou-frou but somebody might want a nice little cute composition notebook covered up pretty for school so get your composition books now that they're 50 cents and grab your fabric grab your appliques and let's cover one up okay and grab your gun glue. And grab your glue gun. Yes, yes. You know, we work with our glue guns here. Glue gun. Glue gun is our friend. Do something opposite. Glue gun is our friend. Yay. So, Thank you, Ming. Yes. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like, share, Hi. subscribe. Yes, yes, ladies. Subscribe, share. And guys, I'm having a giveaway once we reach our goal. I will be giving out a $100 gift card to either Hobby Lobby, Michael's, Joann's, Amazon, wherever you tell me if you're the winner, wherever you tell me you want that gift card to go, I will get a gift card for you. And uh, what you have to do is send people to my channel to subscribe. Now, here's the catcher. YouTube's real time is being affected. So what does that mean? That means that people are subscribing with fake accounts. When you subscribe with fake accounts, you don't give views, you know, or it's a spam or something like that. It affects your real time numbers. 
I don't want my real time numbers to be affected. So I need real subscribers, real people that's going to actually watch my videos. So if you're going to subscribe and send someone to subscribe to me, they have to say so and so uh, sent me to subscribe to your channel, I will put your name into the drawing, the more people you refer to my channel, the more they say it was you, the more chances you have into winning the $100 gift card. Um, but they have to, you have to let them know that they have to watch, not just subscribe to my channel and comment. In the comment section, they have to say who referred them to my channel, but they have to watch the video for at least two minutes because otherwise their subscription will not count. Um, YouTube will not let me see it and therefore it can't count towards numbers. So the way YouTube is doing it now, it's real time subscribers. And if you're not actually, if you're just subscribing to a channel and not bothering to watch that channel, YouTube doesn't acknowledge you as a real subscriber. You still don't have a glue gun. Oh my gosh, you have to get a glue gun, Tanya. Good night, everybody. Yes, do your prayers. Pray for me too. Yes, uh, actually, yeah, go to, you know, Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby has them for like $12.99, the glue gun. I particularly don't like, oh, Miss Carol's now saying twigs. You're so funny, Miss Carol. <laughs> Um, I particularly don't like the new Sure Bonder one. I like the detailed mini of Sure Bonder. I like the, if you can get the old version, this one, this one's better than that new black and green one. I don't know if they've changed it, but I, that nozzle is hard to push now. But um, if you can get the Sure Bonders, even if it's that black and green one, that's the best glue gun. Hobby Lobby, you can use their 40% coupon. I don't know, and I know I've never seen Sure Bonders in Joann's. I have never seen it in Joann's. What they have is Ad Tech. Um, you don't have a hobby. I know. So she's from New Zealand, so tell her to go to Amazon. Yeah, Amazon might New have. New Zealand doesn't have that many craft stores. I know. They don't, they have to have everything imported in. So anyway, back to that. Um, so, so basically what happens is, um, if you go to Michael's or Joanne's, I don't, I don't know. I don't normally shop at Michael's, so I don't know if Michael's has a sure bonder. I know Joanne doesn't. Only place that has sure bonders is either amazon.com. I know they have it and Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby, you can use your 40% coupon. Um, Amazon, they don't oh, have so coupon. Fun, yeah. I know a lot of, you know what? It's amazing how many scrapbook stores are shutting down. There's so many stores shutting down. Even here, it's hard. Even here in the U.S., there's a lot of stores shutting down. All the online stores. Yeah, but you know, even online stores are shutting down. It's really hard and mm -hmm. Etsy now Etsy has that new policy from what I was reading from that one video you sent me if you don't um, do the free shipping you're not boosted up in their search engines so it's like give or take you can't offer free shipping on stuff because it's dipping not only are you paying commission off of paying commission to Etsy, but you're also paying commission to um, PayPal. And now on top of that, you have shipping fees. It's like crazy. It's really crazy.
Bro, if you guys see my description, I have my Amazon affiliate account linked. On there, you will see the ben blending, blending, not bending, the blending br brushes that I use. It's a set of seven you get of these. These are the ones that I'm using for my distressing. They're wonderful, guys. Absolutely wonderful. I love these better than the sponges because the sponges, you're constantly um, replacing those sponges and they get really bad. But if you see the um, links below, use those links. Those are links that um, Amazon will give me a commission and it helps me out replenish supplies so that I can keep afloat, guys. Okay, so please use the links below. It really helps me out a great deal. If I ever see anything that I use that I can put it in the affil affiliate link on my description, I will put it below. That just kind of helps replenish my supplies. Okay. All right. All right, ladies. I, well, you know what? One thing I forgot. Ah, oh, how could I have ever forgotten that? Oh my God. My twine. And I had it totally in my mind to use my twine. Y'all know I like to do my twine. My twine. There we go. I don't know who's got music on this loud here, but somebody's about to hear me. Hear me. Heary, heary. There you go. Twine had to go in there, guys. Twine had to go in there. All right, guys. Craftstash.com in UK. Yep, thank you all. Thank you, um, young Sue, for having me here and sharing with all you lovely ladies. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Can't wait to see what you guys um, put out. This is a challenge. Let's see what cook. Can't, why am I saying cooking? It's let's see what cutting board you guys alter. So let's challenge. Challenge in the group is let's see what you alter with a cooking. There I go again. Smack me, Young Sue. <laughs> I'm saying cooking. I don't know why I'm cutting so board. Good. Because it's for cooking. <laughs> Maybe she wants some cooking. Maybe I'm hungry. She wants some that gingerbread cookie. That's Maybe why. I'm hungry. Okay. Let's it's see. cutting board. Let's cutting board. see what cutting boards you guys alter. And please, please, if you can find it in the thrift stores, garage sales, better. Do not go out and buy a $10, $12, $15, or $20 cutting board to do this project. Absolutely no way. I paid five bucks and I even thought five bucks was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> if you could so, find it at the Dollar Tree, that'd be good too. If you can't. Well, the Dollar Tree has the plastic. I mean, you could, I mean. Yeah, if, Dollar Tree has the plastic. Yeah, they if have you plastic. could find it. The, the Dollar General might have the wood, but I don't, Dollar General is not cheap either. I don't think that they would have it that no i think your best bet would be go to thrift stores here um this town for some reason thinks that uh, garage sale yeah garage sale is the best bet because i know this town here or someone garage, throwing away yeah garage uh thrift stores are expensive or, or somewhat oh, oh your neighbor's throwing it away something yeah maybe you have one that's old and you know kind of yucky that you want to give it life 
you can gesso plastic. Yes, you can do that, but it's not going to look the same. They're about a quarter of an inch thick. And I know because I have one. I have a small one that came from Dollar Tree because um, Nani and I sometimes are cooking and we were going to do some cooking little shows. So I got her a small little uh, cutting board from Dollar Tree. Yes, you can gesso it, but it's still not pretty. You can't distress it like you would with a, a wood one. Yeah, it won't that be pretty. To be honest, I mean, I'm, the plastic is, has like that bumpiness too, isn't it? Yeah, and it has like that, um, yeah, that surface, that textured surface on there. I, I personally, not my taste. I rather spend but five. Like the, like, in the fact, I, in fact, I would rather spend twenty dollars than spend a dollar on Dollar Tree. To be honest, I would, because to me, the Dollar Tree one looks just like cheap. I don't like cheap. I like to spend cheap if I can get something at a good value, but I don't like cheap stuff. But she doesn't look like something cheap. Yeah. Like, you know, sometimes you see things at thrift stores that it's very good value. Or sometimes you see something at a store that is so cheaply made. I, like, I don't like things that are cheaply made. I just, mm -mm, it's not for me. Not my cup of tea. Not my cup of tea. So, so tomorrow I have I have to work on my assignment for my graphic class. I have two discussions to to do for the discussion board, and I have a graphic design um, that I have to do. So, what does that mean? So Monday, I will. Work on probably have filming, time. Can make up. filming part three of our journal. Um, and and then as soon as I get my prototype, time, I'm working on this organizers. I'm working on the prototype. As soon as I get that figured out, I will do a video on that. And then um, we have Friday. So I don't know what little doodads I'll do during a week, but I'll try to jump in. Um, we're in modular four this week. So that means we're getting ready for um, prepping for our finals for this session. So in the next two weeks, it's gonna be like this coming week because it's modular four and modular five next to following week. It's kind of hard because we have, we're prepping for finals. So if I don't jump in as much on Facebook, it's because I'm trying to get assignments done. Okay. Anyway, guys, okay. thank you so much for spending time with me and creating with me. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and I will see you guys Friday live. Okay. Thank Bye, you. guys. Bye-bye.